Okay, so I'm in Walmart right now, looking for a flay knife for a decent price and a scale. This looks like a good one. Three dollars. Go ahead and get that. I got this scale. This is twenty dollars. I got this non-digital one. So I'll go ahead and grab that one. Okay, so I'm still at Walmart looking for the popper popper spinner bait things. I don't know, not spinner baits, but one of these. They got the concave mouths like that. I'm gonna go get one of these. Okay, like you just was in my last video about uh this little popper bait used for bass. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Ohio Ginsanger 89. Description. His name's going to be in the description box. And next week, it's probably this Sunday, I'm going to be buying this. It's $40. Holds a lot of, a lot of storage. But uh, we're going to go ahead and go fishing. First, we got to make our special dough, and then we're going to go fishing. So, hopefully we get some big ones, which I don't think we will because we always catch bluegill. We always try to catch bluegill. Yeah. But uh, yesterday yesterday I caught a catfish. Just tell about the way that we learned how to fly Skin them. Fly them. Yesterday... Uh, with the bait that we've been using, I caught a catfish, and the picture will be right after this video. So we'll see you when we get out to the pond. Okay, so I got this magical bait on that me and Hunter made. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I was going to cast it out. See, I don't know where you can. Uh, See me cast that. Things from cast to your head. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. So that little fish got off. I put some more bait on. He's fishing for uh, crawfish in these rocks. I'm about to try to catch this for you guys. This thing is humongous. And also, by the way, the fishing pole that I'm using is a focus tiny light Bass Pro fishing pole. It is a four foot six pole and it holds two to six pound test line. On it. <laughs> I got ten pound on it right now because that's all I had. The lowest in the this recording? Yeah. I need to tell you guys something. See this blue girl right here making it really Oh! Check that out. Why? Oh, why? No, these blue girl, these baby ones keep taking this bait every time I put it down towards the crawl day. So I got the first fish for me of the day. That is too small to keep. So we're gonna put it back. <laughs> I'm gonna put this little baby back in the water. The baby just jumped out of my hands. Uh, so I'm just gonna load the bait back up and try it and again. This is my first time using this pole because he's been using it. Last week he used it. And then I broke it. It messed up. So I put a string on it and I fixed it. <laughs> Sorry about the cussing. But you know, I got a little mad up there. Okay, so in the last video, obviously, my camera fell. The wind blew it over. So, <laughs> sorry yeah. about that. But, I'm going to leave that in there because I don't feel like trimming it out. So, I want to give another shout out to Ohio Gen Sanger 89. His channel description is going to be, or his channel link is going to be in the description below because last time, I don't even think I said it. I said something, but I don't think I said it the right way. But yeah, I got more bait back on because 
I caught that bluegill last time. And we're going to try to go for big bluegill and skin them up. And, uh, we're not going to try, man. We're yeah, going to succeed. Cook us a meal. Okay. And also, there's the scale that I purchased. Not sure if you can see that or not, but it goes up to 50 pounds. Five buck scale. Better than the $20 uh, digital one. Sometimes they are not even accurate. So, try this again, I guess. Sorry about that again. This is probably going to happen a couple more times in this video. But he knocked it over because he wasn't paying attention. Okay. Sorry about that. That was my bad because I messed everything up. Yeah. Okay, this channel is not just going to be bluegill fishing. Even though uh, last video was. We just don't know what else to we know what to fish for we want to catch bass and stuff but we really haven't got any luck with those yet and also in, when I was in Walmart I said that I caught a catfish here yesterday the first cast on this bait and I'm gonna put the pictures up before this uh, we're, when we was at right after Walmart so that this pictures will be up right there um, you got idiots whistling over there this is a public pond. I'm going to come back out here on Sunday with Ohajin Sanger 89. Because he wants to go fishing. Okay, that's not mine, man. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's do this. You can see how quick they are because I just took my bait. And like I said, he's over here trying to catch a... Uh, is it crawfish? Yeah. Crawfish. Or up in Ohio, people call them crawl dads, whatever, same thing. But on Sunday, I'm going to be probably fishing for catfish. Catfish are just really anything I can catch. So I think every two or three days there'll be a video up. It's just going to be a couple videos, two or three videos a week. Until I figure out a schedule. Because I go fishing every day, I just don't want to make a video every day. So I don't really I've been fishing for bluegill all this week. And I don't think you guys want to see me fish for bluegill every day. Because it is a little bit annoying. But, because that's all we've been. Okay, well, I'm not lying. Me and him literally caught about 70 in the whole week that we went. And he just got a little. Watch out. Dude, that's almost the same as that. We're going to keep this thing for bait. Okay. So, this is the second fish that he caught that was about the same exact size. So. The mouth on it kind of looks like a bass, I think. Obviously, it's not a bass. Look at that little thing. That looks like a, it could be a chicken fry, maybe. <laughs> Do they think that's a warm mouth? Fish, fish fry? What? A warm mouth. What's that? It's like another type of bluegill. Never heard of that one. Sorry, little dude, but you need to flop around like that. The pliers. It's hard to get a grip, okay. I can't even get my finger in here. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that, I'm pretty sure that's, it looks like a bluegill. It could be a, a green sunfish because that's, if it's anything other than a bluegill, bluegill comment on in below so we know. That looks like oh crap. It does look like a bluegill. It could be a uh, green sunfish because it has a green tint to it, or it could be a warmouth. I have no clue. But let me know in the comments if it's anything other than those three that we just said. But we're gonna keep this thing for uh, bait, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it for bait, and I'm gonna try to catch some catfish later. Catch a catfish. Okay, we uh, that's his second fish. <laughs> Those are not big enough. Okay, there goes the freaking blue. Oh, 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 put him back in the cup. 
I'm really scared to pick him up. Okay, so we're going to we'll load me my bait back up again. And this is a real the pole and uh, reel that I'm using. The reel and the rod is really good for small fish like we've been catching. This is the tiny light from Bass Pro. It also has a tiny light reel, um, rod on it. I hope we get a little bit bigger fish than we have been. To the pot, literally small. <laughs> he caught the, almost the same exact one, but that one was a little bit bigger. So we're not sure if we get to fillet these or not because the fish that we caught are not big enough to obviously fillet because you're not going to have any meat on them. Dude. Okay, so I'm gonna cast this out here and I just seen a bluegill right there. Okay, so he caught one, it looks like a green sunfish. Oh. That I is did a, not do that. That's from for the record. Something else. That's a green sunfish. We're gonna keep that. It looks like someone was shooting in the water with a BB. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep that. Okay, so I'm going to cast this out. Crap, it's hard to do this with one hand. I got my bait taken. Okay, I set my camera up in a new spot and maybe it won't fall this time. So I'm going to bait this little thing back up and then go for another bluegill. We're just hoping to get enough this time. So we can uh, have more to eat because last time we didn't, we only had nine in the bucket. And apparently that wasn't enough. And plus we skinned them, we flayed them wrong, and we learned a new way to do it. Well, I didn't flay him, he did. But hey, it's not his fault because he didn't know how to do it the right way. Not his fault. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> See, uh, yesterday, we didn't really catch much because these kids was in our spot and they wouldn't quit talking. And, and screaming. Yeah. And cussing and carrying on. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm 16 and I, never, I don't even cuss that much. I hardly ever do it. I do it sometimes, but not as much as these kids did. Or do, actually. But yeah, this little pole right here is pretty good for a uh, bluegill because look how easy uh, it bends. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It bends really easy so they don't really feel the tug whenever they go underwater because it ain't much to pull under. But yeah, if you watch my bobber, you can see it going under like that. And you see how quick it is because I literally just casted that back out. And then he's using the same stuff, he's just using a bigger pole. Here, show them what kind of pole you're using. After you reel this in. It's my pole, but I'll, I'll tell them. There you go. Shakespeare Firebird. Yeah. Shakespeare Firebird. And it's got 12 pound test on it. And it's 5 foot 6 in length. <clears throat> that's a fire truck, if you can hear that. Fire truck. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not a fire truck. You're not kidding. That's a freaking ice cream truck. But uh, yeah. I'll see if I can get another one. I don't want to make this video too long. Which I know it's going to be long. I'm going to at least get another one before the video ends. So Just pay attention for that. This might be the last catch of the day anyway. Not last catch of the day, but last part of the video. If I catch one before the video ends. This video is getting pretty long. Because I got other videos that are two, four minutes long.
So it is. You be getting uh, any bites over there, dude? Oh, a couple. They're not biting that much today, dude. Yeah, they're not. They're jumping, but they're just not biting anywhere. I'm getting bites all the time, but they just keep taking my bait, and it's hard to get it real quick, just like that. Yeah. That's not a keeper. No, it's not. Okay, if this would quit flopping, I could show you. Bluegill or a green sunfish. I don't know. You know, I, they all look the same. It's just besides the color. So if that's not right, please tell me. Because I really would love to know. Because I've people on YouTube, they say it's a sunfish or a panfish or something. I just been calling them bluegill. Because that's what they look They got a bluegill. And it's spitting up the bait. Not really sure if you can see that or not, but he's probably going to flop out of my hands. But yeah, he's not too bad. Not the size I wanted, but yeah. So, uh, Sunday. Look for a video, so stay tuned till Sunday. Um, I'll be fishing that day. Probably going to be fishing for bass. Uh, either at this pond or at my grandpa's, because that's where I catch all the bass at. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos to come.